As usual, there's so much car technology at CES that it may as well be the first car show of the year. But we're here to help you cut through all the clutter, and here are some of the coolest things that we've seen here at the show. Let's start with an honorable mention. Sony's Afila electric car brand is back again, this time out from under the parent company's umbrella and presenting on its own. They showed off once again their Afila One electric sedan, but they also gave us our first look at the next model in the lineup, the Afila Prototype 2026, an all-electric SUV that shares all of the same entertainment, safety, and electric vehicle technology as its smaller sibling, but it won't get here until 2028. Now, one of the most visually interesting cars at the show is Tensor's Robocar. They say this is gonna be one of the first level four fully autonomous vehicles that you can buy yourself and park in your own driveway. And it wears its autonomous technology on its sleeve with a big hump on the top with a large LiDAR sensor, dozens of cameras all around to power that technology. Now, when you're in the level four autonomous mode, the steering wheel folds away and a screen slides in front of the driver's seat so you can keep yourself entertained and you can choose between driving the vehicle or letting it drive for you. Though, I'm not quite sure that I wanna actually drive a vehicle that looks like a Waymo robo-taxi. So I've got my reservations and we'll see how it's accepted when it hits the road soon. Now, over the past year, I've become a believer in spatial audio and Dolby Atmos, so much so that I've changed my streaming music provider just to get it. But I'm not ready to buy a whole new car just to get it on my commute. That's where Pioneer Sphera comes in. This 10.1 inch multimedia receiver can be installed in pretty much any car and it allows you to bring Dolby Atmos to your vehicle that you already have via Apple CarPlay via any app that supports it. It also uses the speakers that are already in your car, so you don't need to install a center channel, though you probably want to upgrade some of your speakers for the best possible audio, though when you do that, you just run its auto-tuning software and your audio will sound as best as it can. This next technology is something that I'm super excited about. Solid state battery technology is something of a holy grail for electric cars. It's lighter batteries that are more stable and less likely to explode, make it really interesting for companies that are building electric cars or electric aircraft. Donut Lab says that they are the first to market with a solid state battery with their partner Verge Motorcycles TS Pro 2 electric motorcycle. Now the solid state cells themselves are small cell phone sized packs that are significantly lighter, which means that when you put them into larger battery packs, the vehicles are significantly lighter as a result. They're also more stable, so you can cram more energy into them without having to worry about them exploding. That means that you can charge much faster even when you have a small battery pack like in a motorcycle. So the Verge motorcycle is able to charge at 150 kilowatts, which is pretty good for a car, but fantastic for an electric motorcycle. Donuts also partner with Longbow, a new British electric car brand to build an electric speedster and roadster. A really sporty looking vehicles that are retail from somewhere around 89,000 pounds to 100,000 pounds. You can do the math to dollars yourself there. And they're also partnering with a company called Watt to build an electric car platform that's going to use those solid state batteries and their round hubless donut motors to build a platform for vehicles from electric cars to electric trucks, vans, what have you. So we should expect to see more from this in the future. However, the best transportation tech that we've seen here at the show is something completely different. It's not a car, it is a mobility scooter. This is the Strut EV1, and it's not a wheelchair, but it serves a similar function. This semi-autonomous, AI-powered electric scooter will allow people with limited mobility to get around a lot easier. It can autonomously come to you when you need to hop into it. You can control it and tell it where to go with simple voice commands. And if you're manually controlling, it seems like you're about to bump into something, it can automatically help steer you around things. We really like that this is an intersection of all the things that are great about transportation tech. AI, robotics, mobility, and the like. We also like that it's something that helps people, makes us feel real good inside. And it's pretty affordable for something that's essentially a medical device. And that's why we picked it as our best transportation tech of CES 2026. So there you have it, a look at the very best tip of the iceberg of all that's happening in transportation technology here at CES 2026. You can learn more about these technologies over on CNET.com or any of our sensor sites. Drive safe and I'll see you next time.